Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, your home for the crypto neo news, education, opportunities. My name is Ryan. My name is Lucas. And we have a, a crypto explainer today uh, that would be great for people who are just starting out and want to know what kind of wallet to uh, use for the IBC, uh, for Secret or Cosmos, and maybe have privacy concerns, right? Because we do know Absolutely. that these Web3 wallets, including Kepler, there are security issues. So that's that's the theme for today. If you've been in blockchain, well, we have we have playlists. If you're just now getting involved in blockchain crypto, welcome. It's still very early. It's the beginning. In fact, that's part of what we're talking about today is, is a new innovation in Web 3.0 wallets that in the future, people won't even use a MetaMask or maybe a Kepler anymore when you have products like this. So we'll get into that. We've got playlists if you're brand new, how to start your crypto journey, secret crypto, uh, but IBC in general. And that's what this wallet is going to be all about. We've got videos that are DeFi tutorials and explainers. We walk you through it. We talk about NFTs and the different kinds of NFTs that are out there specifically we like to talk about secret NFTs because of their privacy feature. Wherever there's innovation in blockchain, we're all over the place. Hex, uh, the Pulse Chain airdrop coming soon, secret Jackal DAO. I mean, there's a lot of activity happening now so that despite what's going on in the world, in the markets, find those projects, those teams that are developing, that are adding value, and you'd be surprised how rewarding it can be at times. That being said, this is all educational information we're learning this new technology is entertaining it's fun keep it that way this is not financial advice get rich quick information those are other channels we're taking our macro time with figuring things out and making mistakes and learning along the way fat we talk about macro stuff all the time yeah yeah we have a whole series where we look at you know inflation and and monetary policy geopolitical issues supply chain problems and try to draw some macro conclusions about what to expect in the near future with prices and markets and all that. So maybe find opportunities those. all connected, right? Oh yeah, exactly. And in our research, this is an opportunity. Oh, I don't know how much, yeah, it's an opportunity for privacy pr preservation for sure. So the, the product is a wallet. It's a web web three wallet. It's called star shell. It is for uh, the secret network and cosmos change more broadly. And the idea here is that, wallets web3 wallets don't need to be as uh open and transparent about personal pro privacy as they are and and through the and so this is an idea of creating a wallet that's that takes security and privacy serious right and so their website if you want to check them out is starshell.net and we're going to check it out and just take a look at some of the some of the uh, characteristics here and, so, and it's a good point because many people that are getting into crypto or blockchain or maybe have been in it and aren't aware that once your public address is known, anyone can go to a pub, to a blockchain and they can look at every transaction. I mean, unless it's happening on secret networks, uh, privacy right. layer, but this star shell is going to be, do we have a map of zones uh, website? No, people? but we can. This is because I, you know, just like Kepler, this is to help store your blockchains your crypto from all these different blockchains in the ibc and as ryan you're about to get into and let people know just having crypto and going to different websites while these wallets allowed you to access what you have on a blockchain and maybe to send it to receive it to interact with websites these these wallets weren't themselves um protectors of your information and blockchain itself isn't some kind of uh protector of your information once your public key is compromised or doxxed or your identity then people can uh, follow through and see every transaction and address it's gone to so finding storage wallets web 3.0 wallets that will allow you to interact on websites and protect your information or other people from getting information you don't uh, want them to have. This is something that I think in the future, this will be a standard, right? We were talking about this, like th these innovations as more people come into blockchain, their first wallet may be a wallet that protects their information when they go to websites. And it, you know, so this right. is the future of Web 3.0 wallets right here. 
Yeah, I, I really like this I, this search function. So you can you can have access to anything in your wallet just by searching for it rather than having to uh, scroll or hop through a bunch of, um, you know, if it's if you have a lot of tokens added, this is definitely makes it easier to get to what you want. Um, you can add tags to various uh, tokens or wallets, right? So that's cool, very cool. And uh, there's a validator connected to, to this wallet and staking with that validator, if you stake at least 10 secret, there will be a reward and the term in the in the uh, form of T, DU5T tokens, which will accumulate proportional to the amount of secret that are staked. So that's pretty cool. Beyond that, there are, um, there's an, you can register an alias uh, and you can register uh, up to, um, depending on how many of these DU5 tokens you have. So 10, you know, you 10 can, secret staked, ability ah, to register an alias, minimum right. to receive that. 100 secret staked, ability to register up to 10 aliases, plus the star shell flare. 1,000 right. secret staked, you've got access to star shell priority endpoints for high reliability, even during times of extreme network congestion. So there are different tiers within the star shell as you often yes. find with dApps and supporting them. But this is just the beginning. This is very cool. And, they, right. and there's a lot more that they offer already what they've shown. I mean, a search function, it seems obvious to people now or will be in the future, but no, in, in wallets, you have to go clicking around, looking on this chain, yep. looking there. So that, that, that's very cool. Yep, that's right. Now let's get into the privacy stuff. But well, let's see if there's anything else on the main website. It's definitely about anim anonymizing your account so that your identity is protected and and you know privacy is is respected. So that's the, the basic idea here. Oh yeah, this is another thing to mention. You can add end-to-end -end encrypted memos when transferring tokens. So if you wanted to talk about, you know, if you wanted to put an encrypted memo you know, talking about the transaction or, you know, uh, you could you know, labeling it however you want, you can do that and, it's, and have it be private, which is, that's cool. Really dig that. And okay, yeah, so let's, let's check out an article. Well, let's look at the roadmap real fast before we move on. You get an idea of kind of where we're at. Uh, we're in the beta design and development stage right now. Um, web services development. Later in June, there'll be on-chain services. Uh, testing begins in the middle of May, beta testing in July, and we will probably have a release sometime later this year, right? In October or later on, we should expect this to be out and available. But before uh, before that, you know, let's let's understand exactly what they're doing. What what is it? What makes this different? Why why is this a uh, what makes this unique, right? So let's first thing to understand is that MetaMask, Phantom, Kepler, most of the Web3 wallets that exist, they actually advertise indiscriminately to every website you visit what extensions you have um, installed right on your browser. So there's a JavaScript variable that is injected into every website you visit, and this uh, essentially tells the website, you know, these are the uh, these are the extensions that you have, but it doesn't need to be that way. And in fact, it'd be better if it was reversed and your wallet extension kept all that private and then had the website had to request that information rather than just having it you know, transparently broadcasted to, the, to the, everybody in the world, right? So that's, so that's one issue there, right? Um, beyond that, um, we're going to talk about the privacy concern that's labeled forced doxing. And this is essentially the idea that when you approve a connection, you're trusting this website with a whole bunch of information about your identity, from cookies to your browser fingerprint to your, your IP address, your, your wallet address, and, and so on, right? So, and this information, it can be used to track you essentially, right? And, and this can be used to track you across the web. So one of the big things that's needed is a way to anonymize your web three activity so that you can separate your online presence from your actual person, right? And, and then, then the next problem, the next concern that's addressed in this wallet is um, an attack vector that's known as the man in the middle attack. And essentially what this is about is a, a, a malicious uh, user could, could, uh, could, well, no, I'm sorry, a, an innocent user could an, uh, unknowingly download a spoofed or malicious extension that could basically 
be used to um to re to, to kind of trick a person and in order to go and if they connected to a like a a recreated website or a fake website this could essentially be used to trick somebody into thinking they were inter interacting with a legitimate website and in reality they're connecting to some kind of an attack uh, some kind of site that's an actually it's been it looks like it's legitimate but it's not and you know that can be a way to get hacked essentially have your coins stolen so I've preventing these men in the middle attacks is you know that's a big deal yeah there's a lot of phishing scams there's so much value and money flowing into blockchain and crypto. You'll see more scams and more hacks happening. So this, yes. these are those, this is why we're sharing this. It, privacy and security is just as important as airdrops and free crypto and watching the value no go up. If it's not protected in your privacy, you, you might be compromised. And it's happened and will continue to happen where uh, people and their crypto are soon parted. I know it's been parted from me and it's always good to make sure you back up those keys yes. and you um, double check the address of the websites that you're going to. So security, privacy, this is- And I just, beautiful just want to highlight, I just wanted to highlight this one point before we move on. Uh, so yeah, not only do they, employ a covert discovery process, which requires websites to make a request to see what wallets you have, rather than just advertising that automatically. That's one thing. But the other thing is they have this, um, they have the, it comes with the ability to, to have a shadow account essentially, which creates a randomized, it's a randomization service where you can basically create these shadow accounts where you, you can interact and have something sent, you know, from ex off, and off an exchange to the shadow wallet and then uh, you can still control this account because it's the shadow accounts derived from your from your user's mnemonic uh, key, and you can derive the shadow account by having through that key. But it's a separate it's a separate account, so it's one step removed from your your actual wallet address, and that's you know that's huge, big time. Addressing the malicious extension, the middle attack vector that you talked about, the man yes. middle, that's huge. And that's uh, a complex problem that they're working on. So Starshell, right. congratulations. If you're new to IBC, Cosmos, and you want to get involved in Secret Network, which we'll continue to share. There's so many more developments happening with Secret Network, Jackal Dow, Silk Shade, more private NFTs. Um, Alter. Alter. Oh my gosh. Yes, Alter. Yeah. Big news coming with Alter soon. That's just huge what they're doing for communication web i mean web 3.0 and communication it's the practical privacy solution so very 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 beautiful interesting things happening in this innovative exciting time in blockchain cryptocurrency welcome that's right to, to your home for not financial advice <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed uh this little uh, demonstration of what starshell is all about we will continue focusing on the privacy preserving technologies as we learn about them that's kind of our bag and uh, yeah, look out for the next one. And the opportunities out there. Till then, have a beautiful day. Namaste, y'all. Thank you.